everyone, we're here today at the CS50 Fair and I'm so excited to be talking with Lisa, Hans and Jack about their incredible final project. So why don't we dive right in, we'd love to hear about your CS50 final project and what are the inspirations? Um, so yeah, we created a Harvard Remy Finder. This is a homepage, notice that there's two buttons here and at the bottom there's a little pop-up that says Remy was last seen at this latitude and longitude. Um, if you click one of these buttons that says where is Remy, it will pull up a map centered at your location and it will show you all of the Remy spottings. This is amazing. What's really cool about the map is it logs every user's sightings and you can see all of the sightings around campus. Uh, if I can find my cursor. Anyways, I guess you can see the sighting that we logged here. But if you scroll around, it shows all of the sightings around Harvard's campus. And what's really cool about our website is it allows you to, um, oh, there we go, we've discovered our cursor. Um, but if you go, you can see, report your own sightings if you're logged in, and it will add a little Remy notification and a little Remy cat where you last saw him. You can also see our leaderboard, which using our SQL database, we were able to track which users have the most Remy sightings, which adds a little bit of friendly competition towards finding Remy. We also implemented a about Remy. Interesting fun facts. In case you don't know about our beloved campus cat, we have wonderful information to learn about. Remy is a legend around Harvard's campus, and unfortunately not all of our students have been lucky enough to see Remy, so we are very glad to present the Harvard Remy Finder to make it easier to find the secretive yet amazing Remy the Harvard cat. Absolutely. This is absolutely incredible, y'all. I do agree. Any day that Remy is seen on campus is a wonderful day, um, and so this is so impressive. Love the Finder and all of the different, the scrolling images, so impressive. There's so many technical aspects onto this incredible project, and I would love to hear, what was your favorite part about coding it, and most importantly also, what was the biggest challenge you felt you overcame? You want to cover the favorite part? Um, there were a few favorite parts, I think, but for myself, I think I was in charge of a lot of the CSS and the HTML, um, and I did a few back-end things, but I really enjoyed just having like creative freedom um, and making the web page cohesive, but also distinct on every single page. Uh, it was a bit difficult sometimes, because you have to take into account how the text looks on the background, um, how do you bring things to the forefront, etc. so that was a bit of a challenge, but it was great. I, I would definitely say that the most difficult part was the map itself. So unfortunately, Python, which is the code we use to basically run the website, doesn't have any support for maps on its own. So we have to import an API from Google that allows us to edit it on JavaScript. So basically, our Python has to communicate with our JavaScript, which has to communicate to the HTML, which communicates to the Jenja. And since there's no built-in way for these different systems to communicate with each other, we have to run all of it through requests that are done online, which is actually really difficult to manage. I would say the most rewarding part of the project, or my favorite part of the project, was the SQL. I think database did lots of fun, and it was really rewarding to be able to run SQL commands to extract information from the database and then present it visually on our site using Jinja. I would say one of the most rewarding parts of this project was being able to have this as a culmination of all of the work that we did in CS50. It was also really amazing being able to work with Liz and Hans, because I think that it was the collaboration of this site that allowed it to be so great and working with such great people. This is so, so wonderful, everyone. Thank you so much for sharing. Um, Y'all definitely should be super proud of all of the work that you put into this. It's such a cool project. Um, but one last question is, where do y'all think you're going to go from here? With the project, with CS, and school? Um, if we're lucky enough, we will host the Harvard Remy Finder so it's accessible to the Harvard student body because we believe it's a service that is very necessary. Uh, future details coming on us hosting it. You, maybe you'll see a side chat post about it. Maybe. Stay tuned. Um, yeah, thank you so much, and we hope that you report all of your Remy findings and contribute to the Harvard community. Amazing. Well, thank you all so, so much. This is such a cool yes, project. And once again, like, congratulations on completing CS50. Thank you.